Sup guys, ZachTech12 here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Snapshot video, and well, you may be wondering why I have a diamond sword and diamond hoe, you will find out later. So, one thing I actually missed in the previous snapshot is now, is that, hold on, let me, let me get a piston, let me get a sticky piston, and lever. There we go, we just break these. Crying obsidian, despite being obsidian, can be moved by pistons, but it's still blast proof. Which is very interesting in my opinion, and of course it emits light, which is which is nice. And here's a weird bug that happens to do with dolphins. Uh, that was fixed. Um, let me see, uh there we go. See, if you had a boat near a dolphin, it would go really fast for literally no reason that has been fixed, and another bug that was in the game, but I think pretty much since 1.14, is that, that, yeah, English, is that basically dolphins who are angry can still give you dolphins grace, that is no longer a thing. I, I'm sorry, and there's been a change to how fish, fish despawn. They now will despawn whether the, when the player is like 64 blocks away, which I think was like lower in some of the previous updates. I don't know why, but I'm just gonna fly up, like about like 64 blocks or so. I'm just gonna fly, your boy, your boy be flying. Because there's also a change with villages in this update, with how they generate. Um, it's a good thing I've generated near a village. Unfortunately, I can't generate a new one because I'm kind of just doing a thing where I'm keeping everything in the same world for the sake of cons consistency. Now I've been like, okay, well, I'm gonna fall back down, and the fish are gone. Okay, never mind, some new ones spawn, but the squids are supposed to stay. There's a baby zombie, I want to kill you. Have a bit of a problem with baby zombies. So villages are now, according to the patch notes, supposed to generate more consistently and coherently. Oh, hey, a spider jockey. So you know those weird times when, when villages would generate pretty weirdly, and uh, this guy's got a sword. I want to save the village. Oh, he actually dropped the sword. That's cool. I'm going to sleep in this bed because I kind of want to set it today anyway. So, there we go. Random Enderman. Let's go back into the nether where the, good ch where the real changes start, but let me just murder him. Let's go into the nether where the real changes start happening. Just like usual, whenever I go through this portal, let me go into spectator mode. Let me go into creative again. And there are new blocks! With these, there is now wood types of these logs. They're called, um, hyphae. You can strip them as well. Here's the warped version. But before we go and look at the crimson version, there's some changes to um, the target block. So if you hit it in the center, let me let me go to my advancements. Uh, so it's supposed to give you a bullseye ad ad advancement. So let me get the very center pixel. There we go. There we go, it's nice and beautiful. You can now actually place, um, hold on, let me get some... La no. La wire hook. You can now place ladders and tripwire hook. Okay, let me just grab a target block and place it down here so I can show this easier. Oh, that was one of the new ambient sounds! See, um, now whenever you're in the nether bombs, cool ambient sounds like they'll be kind of like, sounding like tortured souls or creepy, um, creepy whispers. And yes, I am do using Darzer Craft because I like this texture pack. And you can place ladders on tar- and tripwire hooks on target blocks now. You can do the same on observers. 
and redstone blocks. There's another one of the sounds. It sounds really cool. I love it. And apparently, I can't exactly show you this, but fossils are not meant to kind of generate out in the open like this. I love how this one's literally just the letter F. Whenever they generate in the nether, they're supposed to generate in these like little islands that whenever they generate inside the terrain, they kind of, they kind of, they kind of form these nice little fossil rooms. I love these ambient sounds. Like, because when people were first seeing about this update, a lot of people were complaining that this made the nether too habitable, but, and, and kept it away from being scary. I mean, I think these are kind of scarier than cave sounds, like. These, sound, these don't sound like just like creepy monsters, these sound like literally tortured souls, and I love it. So now here is the um, Crimson Hyphae, and it's stripped version. So now when we're in the Crimson Forest, hoglins are supposed to spawn twice as often now. And also the, um, the these things have been retextured as well, the, the fungi. And... A thing about the a thing about item frames is I can't exactly show it because I don't know how to use the command, but using the data merge command you can actually make item frames invisible and they're unable to be broken or items taken out by the player, but you can still rotate them. So now you no longer need a texture pack to make item frames invisible, because I've seen a lot of people do that in in, in with texture packs in earlier games. I, I think I might have seen someone do it with commands or a data pack, but I'm not exactly too sure about that. Now you can just 100% do, do it with regular commands. It's, it's, it's nice. Even though I have no clue how to use it. And get off my enchanting table. So why do I have the smithing table out? Well, you may have been seeing this all over the place. Um, let me just get some couple of netherite ingots. See, um, the textures of them have been slightly updated. Um, the netherite scrap is made, made slightly elongated and the tools are slightly brighter. But other than that, everything looks pretty much the same. So this is why I have a diamond hoe and a diamond sword. See, this is, you can no longer do it in a crafting table. You have to do it in a smithing table. And now here's the thing. So I'm just gonna enchant this because I can. Sharpness three, I'm breaking three. And now you could put Enchantments on hose in survival. Like you could get efficiency on breaking and fortune. You can also get um silk touch and mending using like anvils and stuff like that. But and you you of course can mine the 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 the, the, yeah, yeah, the nether warp blocks, both the regular and warp variety variety. But you can also break hay bales with them. And also, um, of course, everything will become faster the higher form of tool you get. So no, so diamond ho slash netherite hoes are no longer useless. In case you want to just grab a bunch of nether warp blocks or grab a bunch of hay bales from villages. And apparently the piglins can now take powered rails, so I'm gonna take this out. You heard another- it sounded kind of sparkly. I, I like that sound. I like these ambient sounds in the nether. I love them. They're like cave sounds, but so much better. Come on, take, take, take the powered rail. Pa powered rail. They said they're supposed to be able to take powered rails now. Okay, I guess they can't take powered rails, but a thing about them in Wither Skeletons, there should be some in- Hey, hey zombie piglin. I almost said zombie pigman. I meant to say zombie piglin. Oh hey, here's a here's one of these. Okay, so here's a wither skeleton. Let me let me let me spawn a bunch of them in. Let me spawn in a piglin. So there used to be a glitch where piglins would not attack um wither skeletons when they were outnumbered, and then they fixed it so they did, but. But then they fixed it so they did, but the Wither Skeletons will not attack back, and now they can attack back. Here's the Wither effect. Uh, 
want to punch him to death. Die, you little... Die, big piglin. I want to murder him. And I want to kill this guy. So I'm going to be heading back. Over to the Crimson Forest. Which, can I say, the, the Dursler Craft textures make this look beautiful. Thanks to the Dursler Craft textures on the Nether Wart block. I wish they would update it. Please update Durzocraft. I, I love this texture pack. I don't like it being stuck in 1.12. Please update it at 1.13, 14, 15, and then 1.16. Okay, you have a lot of work to do. Well, not as much work on 1.15 because, you know, there weren't too many things added in terms of, like, blocks and mob-wise, but it's still pretty cool. I still hope that they can add the fletching table as a use. And also, a cool thing about hoglins now is that when you breed them, they become persistent, so that makes it cool when you're making farms of them, so you won't have to, like, give name tags or anything. Because I'm pretty sure that they are considered, kind of considered hostile mobs, but yeah, yeah, they kind of are. <sighs> See, this is probably turning out to be one of my favorite updates. Um, 1.9 used to be my favorite update, don't judge me. I, I kinda like the the shields. Hold on, I want the shield to actually okay, so skin customization. Um huh? Um Never mind, um. I mean it still shows up the same way it does in third person. I personally like the old way where it kind of just went in front of the screen because because it because it made it nice in first person because you know this just isn't the same. I like the shields. The attack cooldown made a good use for the shields, so you can block while you're while you're waiting for it to recharge. I used to love the axes because of their high damage, but I was dumb and didn't understand the fact that. Attack cooldowns were a big problem, and the sword actually dealt higher deep damage per second. So nowadays I use swords. I don't use axes. I mean, axes were good for critical hits. Oh, and there's another sound. It's a little twinkly. Let's see if we can go to the warp forest and see if we can hear some of the new sounds there. Come on. Play a sound. It sounded like a less it sounded like a less twinkly version of the one in there. Are there any that play in the nether wastes? Maybe just the regular cave sounds play here. Just like they always have. I don't hear anything. Um, yeah, this is gonna be turning out to be a pretty cool update anyway, and also, whoo, yeah, and also, get ready for Netherite to be crashing the Hermit, get ready for the Hermit Crash, econ Hermit Craft Economy Crash of 2020, because Netherite is going to completely destroy it, and I'm pretty sure it already has. Anyways, um... Yep, this has been a pretty nice update, and for some reason on the player, the netherite armor doesn't look enchanted. That is a bug that needs to be fixed. I'll see you guys in the next snapshot. Okay, I don't know why I have netherite, ne nether sprouts. Um, uh, peace.